less important than the guys like Antonia and Chad Marcus Tati. But because of Kai, we can get a Jordan Clark sometimes from players and actually do play. Absolutely, yes. He has been for trying to get us going here. Nice out of the nigga on Art the Boy. Thank you very much for joining us here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. And on Art the Boy making Coach Mark Molina proud. Double D, another player, and leave Tucker open. He's the last guy you want to be open, and he was wide open in that corner. Scotty Thompson, the kick out to drop it. Ramos, for three, no bloopers, for shot. And we would expect Dwight Ramos to be more aggressive than offense for Gilas. Well, I don't see Dwight Ramos as actually one of the favorite targets for Jordan Clarkson. He had so many three-pointers courtesy of dishes from Jordan Clarkson. This guy saw a lot. Well, during that uh, brief technical difficulty, Gilas Filipinas conceded two but got two back courtesy of Scotty Thompson. 74 at the meantime here as Jordan still with a three-point lead. Trying to move the ball around, like swing it back and forth. And so far, 50-50 balls going the way of Jordan. Aduari, blue shirts all around. And as a part, he's always bashing the offensive glass. Well, he never has to be very familiar with that. For sure. Scotty Thompson, starting point guard, finds to be the Filipinas. Three-point lead for Jordan. Ramos. Scotty Thompson, up top. Came out to Jack Aguilar, finding Kai Soho. Nice play there. High load between, although it's not high load because it's not in the top of the feet, but uh, still, the two big men. With a nice uh, play there, two man game between Jumpet and uh, Kai. Big, it's a big connection there. It's good to see how much Jumpet will actually provide back to Kai Soto. Scotty Thompson. On the drive, on the attack, back from behind. This is Filipino, Jumpet and Delar have become a bit of a floor spacer. In fact, uh, there were quite a few people on the Huda last time Jumpet and Delar did play for Gilles Filipinas. He took shots like that. That's it, but he, has, he needs to consistently hit those shots so that uh, because the offense of Coach Chuck Reyes has a power forward who can shoot from the outside. I mean, guys like Rocky Del Dio Campo would, would come to mind. Probably the best example is the RBO. So trying to fill in that mode as Arco Boy sailing in for another two to give the Philippines the lead. I like it. Eight points in the Philippines and all of those inside the paint. So right now, neither team shooting very well apart from your three-pointer ni Dara Tucker to start out. But at the meantime, Dara Tucker has been relegated to the stand at the corner so far. And it's White Ramos uh, tasks tasked with guarding Dara Tucker. And Dara Tucker, two three-pointers in the game. He made that with a hand in his face. That's why the first possession when we, he had an open three, that was a mental lapse for U.S. Two of three from beyond the arc. You see Dart Tucker. As the Philippines walks this down, but Jaffa and Galar says, well. he can't leave me that open. And that will come in. And I was talking to L.A. Tenori about Jaffa and Galar, and he said that Jaffa and Galar is actually now the leader of this group. He's, one of the, he's the oldest player in this team. Is so he the only one who played in the 2014 World Cup? I think he's the only one. If you take a look at this, they call the final Jaffa. Tucker going inside that time. And see, Tucker, not necessarily, he hasn't shown us a lot of aggression in the way that he's been uh, going about this game so far, but at the right place at the right time. But that's eight points already here for, for Tucker. White Ramos, they broke the handle, the ball still stays with Gilles Filipinas. White looking at his arm. No points yet for White. That he was fouled in that play. So four points from our Pogoy to lead. Gilles Filipinas, Kai Soto, spotting up 4-3, got that to fall. And that's going to be huge, if Kai can hit that uh, with consistency. I'm showing off his range, extending that. It will be on the scouting reports for sure. Scotty Thompson, on the drive, on the attack, I mean Dwight Ramos. And so far our guards penetrate. And that's going to be key for us in this game. How about penetration? Scotty Thompson did enough defensively to stop that one. And that's Dwight Ramos. 
in this case, Scotty. Scotty has been the key facilitator here for Guinness Filipinas. Harpo Boy, pull up jumper. Well, we're just short. Three point lead by Sergilas. Well, nobody ran with him. That's, yeah. the, that's the problem there. These two guys, they can do it. They can do the same thing. Boy Adam coming in as well. And and one opportunity here by Jordan. Freddy Ibrahim. And CJ is very upset because uh, he was sleeping on defense that time. And Freddy Ibrahim, this guy is very smart. CJ Perez already tested and Boy Adam in Apple. Let's pick around and pick around for Freddy Ibrahim. CJ Perez, what can he do here? Miss the last window because uh, at that time, San Miguel Beer men were still playing in the playoffs. I saw, but what feed inside Boy Adam. I love that, I love that. We've done, they've done that a couple of times. Pick up this time, Kai is the passer and they got it inside the Poyera. The unique thing about this Guinness Filipinas team so far is that there have been numerous options that were big to big. Kai Salt of chasing that one. Then Makua, Nang Jordan, Ahmad al Duwari again doing the damage. And we have to gang rebound here, especially when Kai Salt goes for the block like that. Oh! Cruel intentions by Kai Salt at that time. Unable to really get to it. And nothing soft coming from Kai. This is the way he should play. And I think I'm going to make Al Dwayne just getting his body on Kai. And Peter Nato Kanina carrying a few words. Nothing too hostile between the two. Well, Al Dwayne had a nice move inside the paint uh, against Kai earlier on. So Kai. Trying to give him some uh, a little bit of payback here. Both teams not actually not great marksmen from beyond the arc, but basically and a very good defensive player. And he's going to be paired up with Scotty Thompson. They're very, very familiar with each other as a player. Of course, Dave Malonzo has been learning a new offensive system with a Barangay Nebra as of late, and I'm sure he's also trying to learn what Guinness is trying to do here too. They're saying oh, we talk about being athletic. Oh, the foul was called. That was. One more point here from Jamie Malonzo. Dark Doctor will agree. Oh, yes. And yeah, you can believe it. Dark Doctor on the floor in the after effects of the contact by Jamie Malonzo. At least from our, from our vantage point, it looked like a clean down block. Let's take a look at that again. And yeah, absolutely. But whistle blown. So it'll be free throws for Jordan. That was very, very clean. He even got it after the release. And Coach Chotre has the face says it all. Well, when you're, when you're on the road, you, have, you, you need to expect a, a little bit of all of these things to happen. So I'm sure. Chop has already but also prepared this team to play against a hostile environment. Not just the crowd, but sometimes also shaping comes with that. John Tucker Green for first. I think Jamie Malonzo is another guy who they can put defensively on top of. Well, yes, the athleticism move side to side, yeah. stay, in, stay in front of him, but then Tucker hasn't necessarily been scoring for explosive movement. It's just the shot making has been so good today. Shot making, decision making, and the next step for this guy. The problem with having Dwight playing Tucker extended minutes, pretty much most of his minutes, we're not we're seeing a spent Dwight on the offensive end. I don't think Dwight has scored today. A lot of his focus has been on the defensive end. Two points only in the game so far for Dwight Robert. Thompson, I mean Dwight Ramos, and Kwame in the ball game as well. Kwame. Great pass to the boy, trying to find Jamie Malonzo. Ball stays to Gilas. Back in fourth game here, Gilas Filipinas had a bit of a run a while ago to tie the game up. 33 all. And in the meantime, it's Jordan with the advantage here with a minute 22 left here in the half. Jamie Malonzo on the attack and the clock. I love what Jamie is bringing here in this game. Oh, he has to play the minute here. He should have gotten the block. And then the dunk in the other end. 
Well, he's the energy guy of Antigua Filipinas, and he's that's the role that I feel that he's playing. Yes, that that is correct. Playing for Ibrahim Bazai. Trying to get away from Bogoy. And a problem violation. And Scott and our Bogoy. Earlier on, he was, he was taking it strong against uh, Kai Soto. But Ito, the Dalawang is in front of the Utensi Ange. Jamie Malonzo, the way they drive around us. The next day, Scotty. Scotty. Pull up jumper. Scotty. At that time. And the whistle blown, he's called foul, but he'll stay with Vilas. Once again, Jamie Malonzo. Very active on the rebounding battle here. He doesn't do anything by half, talking about Jamie, as Ray Parks will come back in. Let's take a look at that again. Yeah, again, just Jamie Malonzo, he'll sail in for every rebound. Jamie. White Ramos, Ramos, looking for anyone, Ramos, has to take it, he does, and the rebound gets out wide. Ready, Ibrahim, happy bounce and run in front of him. Now, 10 seconds between shot and game clock. Oh, that's going to be a problem for him, and that will put Paul Dwyer on the line. And Ray Parks uh, controlling Kwame. As Jordan. Holding on to a two-point lead here to try to extend it from the free throw line. Jamie Malonzo once again. Well, it's strike one. Ramos said Jamie Malonzo conspiring together to get that turnover. At Kawame looking for Scotty. Scotty using the pick of Kawame. Goes the other way. What a five from Scotty. And At Kawame couldn't finish. Do you selfish for Scotty? Possibly, <laughs> but it would have been a great highlight had Guam finished it. That's right. But then brought it the inside the thing. There's a miss there from Guam as the top call that her up to Ayeri got hit in the face. Three point D, Pansiginas, Filipinas. Great part trying to contain Ibrahim. Guam slides. Good defense played so far, and great defense towards the turnover. Jordan have not looked good offensively this quarter in particular. Scoring-wise, 11 to 4 yeah. in favor of Venus Filipinas in this game so far. And that's huge. Only four points so far in the first quarter for Jordan. Excellent uh, uh, adjustments coming here from uh, both short players in the second half. Travel there from Ange Duane. World Cup 2023. But this guy is slowly cementing his place. He's making a case. He's making a case, yeah. sure. Because I am also certain that a lot of people on the sites are also trying to break into the team yeah. will have other thoughts as well. I mean, there are a lot of options, like Chris Newsom, Alex injured. Oh,